Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I have been away from you guys for the past two weeks, but if you follow me on social media or anything like that, you guys know that I have been in California, or I was in California for the past two weeks. And that is why I haven't been uploading videos. I forgot my camera here, so I wasn't able to do any vlogs or anything of that sort over there. But it was such a great trip. Even though we were in Northern California for most of the trip, we were lucky enough to be able to go down south. And we were in SoCal for about three days. But in those three days, we fit in the beach. We went to the Santa Monica Pier. We went to a wedding on a boat. Yeah. A wedding on a boat it was pretty much the most gorgeous wedding I think I've ever really been to. It was just such a great experience and I had such a blast and it was so nice for everybody to finally meet Autumn and everybody got to hold her and squeeze her and love her and I got to hug and squeeze all my family and friends and it was just such a great trip. And I didn't want to come back. I had so much in and out and so much Tommy's and so many Jack in the Box tacos. Like the first night we were there I ordered 10 tacos and a large Dr. Pepper. <laughs> And that was my breakfast. Cali life. But I'm back. And with me, I brought a bunch of goodies. It's not just from Ulta. I was lucky enough to go to Sephora and Mac. But this is just the bag that I can easily fit everything in there. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul. So let's get this video started. So first things first, I'm the realist. How lame was that? Anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this random. The first thing I pulled out was uh, my Pore Professional Primer that I picked up at Sephora. I thought this was the large one. It was just the first one I saw when I walked to the store, so I grabbed Then I realized I actually got a smaller one. I was really excited to get this and try this out because, like I've told you guys before, pores are kind of a problem for me because they're kind of thick. But anyways, I picked up this little guy for that reason. Uh, the second thing I picked up at Sephora as well was my Urban Decay Deep Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And I got the oil control one because, like you guys know, I'm oily as well. Your girl's got a lot of flaws, okay? There's a lot of fault in these stars. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be so sad. Anyways, moving on to happier and better things. I got the spray and I got the, uh, I think this is in the, like, the smaller bottle. Um, because I just wanted to try it out. I didn't want, a lot of these things that I bought, I bought, like, the miniature versions because I'm one of those people that just likes to try things out before I go ahead and drop money on something that might not be a good investment because I've just made that mistake so much in the past, dropping money on things that I ended up throwing away. So I tend to go for these little almost sample sizes and see how I like them and see if they will be a good investment for me in the future. So yeah, I got the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray and I got the Oil Slick one. Next thing I got was, again, another sample. Anyways, um, I got the Bare Minerals Translucent Powder, and it came with this little tiny baby kabuki brush, which I haven't even looked at really. But I got um, the Bare Minerals Ready Touch Up Veil. I got it in translucent. And I got this one because it's small and compact enough that I can use on the go. I've been wanting like a touch up powder. Look at that. I already love it. It smells super good. Maybe it's just a brush. Maybe it's just a con thing that smells. I don't know. It smells good. But yeah, I got this just because I need something to carry around with me. And I'm a big fan of Bare Minerals products. So I got that. And what else did I get? What else? Ah, it's a mystery for me too. Just kidding. I got this little trio of Benefit. And I love these little things so much. I think they're such great investments. I think I paid 14 bucks for this. Um, and I got all these little sample sizes. I got the professional, I got that gal, and I got girl meets pearl. And I love that I bought this just so I will be able to try all of these out and see if I like any of them and I will go back and purchase the bigger. And I am stuck for packaging so I had to go ahead and get these and I looked at them and they're just so freaking cute. And I'm excited to try all of them and see how I like them. Cause I like them. Next thing I got was my Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. 
This was one of the main things that I knew I was gonna walk in and just grab. How do you come out? Ah, there you go. I pretty much fell in love with this palette after I saw WOS and Faint. What does WOS stand for? A oh, walk of shame. Where we come from, we call that a hoe stroll. Uh, no? Okay. The girl at Sephora who attended me and checked me out. No, she didn't check me out. Like, the cashier at Sephora who helped me was like, I'm so happy you got the Naked Basics palette. I love this palette and you can basically create any look with it and it's just amazing and you gotta have it. So I was like, okay. So I got it. Got the last one. Well, the last one that I saw in this little shelf thing. The next thing I picked up at Ulta and I was really disappointed with my experience with Ulta because I was in such a rush. This whole vacation seriously felt like a rush because we had to be in one place at some time and another place at another time and I just felt like this whole time I was just like on a time crunch but seriously when I got to Ulta my husband was like you got 10 minutes to get in and get out but the good thing was that I knew what I wanted and the girls there were super helpful so the minute I walked in one of the girls greeted me and she was like well hi what can I help you with and I was like I need a highlighter for my face because I couldn't find one at Sephora and I couldn't find one at MAC I went to go look for soft and gentle uh, at MAC and it was sold out completely just my luck so I went to Ulta and I told the girl, I was like, I need a highlighter for my face. And she was like, girl, I got you. So she grabbed my hand and she took me to this shelf and was like, you need this in your life. And I was like, okay. So she pretty much grabbed the little sample one they had. How do you open? Anyways, uh, she grabbed the sample one that I had, grabbed my hand and was like, switch. And I was like, all right, boom, I like that. But I was really happy with this purchase. And I really liked it and I can't wait to try it out and I can't wait to do some looks with this. Again, it is the IT Cosmetics Hello Light Illuminating Powder. Next thing I got, I also picked up at Ulta. Like I told you guys, I was in a rush at Ulta, so I pretty much grabbed my highlighter and went in line. And the line seriously went around like almost a whole row. So I was waiting in line for a while. And while I was in line, I looked at the little like sample stuff they have on the shelves there, like the little smaller thing. And I saw this and it was the last one they had and I was just looking at it and I was like, what do you do? And it's an eye brightening concealer, which I'm obsessed with concealers and I love bright concealers. Anything that pretty much hides these mommy bags under my eyes, I'm totally for. So I grabbed this and I was like, I need you in my life too. So I went ahead and got him and I haven't tried him out yet but I really love the packaging too and I'm really excited to use this pink shade and this neutral shade. I just thought it was super cute and I I had to get it. It was just one of those things that I was like, hey, I'll take you home. Because it was sitting there all by himself too. It was the last one of its kind. Next thing I got was the first thing I picked up at Sephora because it was on a huge little display thing and I just kept on catching my attention or capturing my attention from the side of my eye and I was like do I need it do I want it yes I want it and yes I need it it was so weird like I have so many eyeliners but this one I was just like I need you in my life and the lady that was at Sephora was like have you heard about the new their real benefit push-up liner and I was like no even though I totally have but she was like it's really amazing you really have to ooh it has a little cover on it but she was like, I'm wearing it right now and it's really amazing and it's really awesome. And I know they're just doing their job and just pushing to sell, but I totally was like, mm, okay. And I'm really excited to try it out just because I'm just not that good with eyeliner. But it is a really nice pen and it has a gel consistency, which I love gel eyeliner. So I'm really excited to try this baby out too. And the one and only thing I got at MAC was my Pro Longwear Concealer. I got it in the shade NC25. And I've been wanting to get this concealer for such a long time. I was so excited when I picked this baby up. The lady who attended me at the door was like, what can I help you with? And I was like, Pro Longwear Concealer, please. And she was like, I got you. So she took me back, matched me, and then I was like, I want something that's a little lighter than my skin tone right now because I do want to use it to highlight a little bit. And she was like, okay. So she gave me NC25, which that just tells you how tan I am. I got pretty tan in California. Next thing I got was a little bit bad girl lash from Benefit. 
I just, like I said, I get these sample sizes just because if I don't like it and I get the big size, I just feel like it's such a waste of money. So I like to get these little smaller size, try them out, feel them out, and see if I like them. And if I do like them, then I will go get them. It's just a little thing I have about myself. But yeah, I got this little gal. And I'm excited to use that too. I really haven't used anything that I bought yet just because I was so excited to show you guys that I didn't... I felt weird opening them up. The only thing I have used is a professional, um, but that is about it. Another thing I picked up at Sephora but was my Smith's Rosebud Salve. I've been looking for a good treatment for my lips and this just kind of caught my attention. I really loved the packaging, and though I'm probably not going to be able to get these open with these nails. And I'm really excited to try this. This is probably going to be that one product that I'm always going to keep in my vanity. So when I'm always getting ready, I'll have something to go to and it's not going to move from here because I have such a bad habit of moving my chapsticks around. And when I sit down to get ready and do my makeup, the first thing I like to do is put on some sort of lip balm, lip stick, lip chapstick, whatever, just so I can hydrate my lips before I put on any lip product over them. But I always can't find any and they're always in my purse, in my car, in my baby's bag. I don't know. But this I bought to strictly keep here and that's why I bought a really chunky thing so it'll be easy to find. So that's one of the reasons why I got this. And I haven't tried it out yet, but I mean it says it's has a trade secret of essential oils and cottonseed oil and it's a petroleum base so I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. Um, plus I don't suffer from super dry lip symptoms or anything like that so I mean I'm pretty sure it's going to work and I mainly got it because it's so bulky and big and I feel like I'm really going to be some special type of person to lose this. Next thing I got was my Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation which I saw this and I had to pick it up just because I am such did I just get a text message? Personally I'm such a huge fan of Maybelline's Dream Wonder Foundations. One of my favorite foundations of all time is my Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation and I also have the Dream Liquid Mousse um, like the the compact one and the moussey one. So when I saw this I was so excited and it just looks so interesting. I think I'm going to have to do a first impressions video on this. I got it in the shade Sun Beige so I'm hoping that works for me because I was just kind of eyeballing it. I didn't have any foundation with me to match it with. So I'm hoping this works. I'm super excited to try this out. I love Maybelline foundation so much and I hope this one doesn't disappoint. And the packaging is also super cute so I'm super excited to try this. And next thing I got... Oh! Every time, every time I see this I get so freaking excited. It is my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And if you guys watched my videos, you guys know I am eyebrow obsessed and I have been wanting to get this pomade into my hands for such a long time. Basically since I heard of them, but because I have no support around me. It's been so hard for me to get my hands on this and I was so happy to finally be able to get it. This was the first thing I walked in for. No joke. After I walked past the Benefit Eyeliners, I went looking and I couldn't find it myself because it's in such a small section so I had to go ask another girl. I was like Anastasia Beverly Hills and she was like right over there and I ran over there and I was like I don't see the palm nades and she walked over and she was like oh they're right here and she was like um this one for you and she got me the dark brown and literally once this fell into my hands I was like oh. It was just like a holy moment. I've been wanting to get my hands on this you guys have no idea how bad I have wanted to get a pomade and I'm so excited to finally have it. I haven't even tried it out yet because um, if you guys uh, follow me on Facebook, you guys know that my daughter broke my CoverGirl pigment, my Anastasia brow was broke, and I also lost my ankle brush from Eco Tools, which is the brush I had on the trip. And even though I didn't really wear makeup on the trip, I know, um, I literally only wore makeup like twice. I always did like doing my eyebrows and I couldn't really do them because I didn't have a proper brush to do them with and I didn't want to just put any old brush in this because this is my baby already and I wanted to wait till I got back home to use my, my Sigma angled brush to do my eyebrows with so I'm super excited to try this and I can't freaking wait. Ugh. I'm so happy. 
And the last two things that are in this bag are um, a MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Sample and a Makeup Forever pencil. I believe it's an eyelining pencil and I got it in dark brown, I think. It's so small I can't even tell what color it is. Uh, I can see that it's waterproof though. So yeah, that is my haul and it's a- oh no actually. Um, I also got a NYX Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. Um, I picked this up. Uh, I don't know why. It's just one of those things that I've always walked past and it's always caught my attention, but I've always been like, mm, do I need it? But I actually used it today and I honestly really, really like it. It has kept my oil under control for pretty much this whole video, even though I'm literally sitting right in front of the sun and it's a freaking hot day. I'm just not used to this. Alaska Sun yet. So I finally picked this up and I really like it. I'm glad I made the purchase. I'm glad I finally decided to get it. And this is officially the last thing, you guys. I know it was a lot of stuff. Thank you for sitting and watching this video. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do any first impression videos on any of this stuff or any reviews on any of this stuff. I'm definitely going to try and do a first impressions video on this. I'm probably going to film that tomorrow because I'm super excited to use this foundation and I want to take you guys on that journey with me. Don't know why I decided to use a British accent for that, but we'll just go along with it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or just some stuff you want to tell me, leave it in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's hot in here. It's hot. Got a jug. Oh. This is a sample. I was really excited to get this set. Okay. Somebody's in trouble.